Lights up. Irene's apartment in the virtual world. Rehearsal in preparation for a play reading at Centenary Stage Company in Hackettstown. Playwright Deborah Yarchin watching remotely as the actors give voice to her words. Yarchin is one of four women whose plays will be read on stage in Centenary's Women Playwrights series. I think a lot of women are writing from, in some ways, their perspective on the world, which is often different than men. We, we come from a different walk of life. We experience the world differently. The Women Playwrights series was created 29 years ago, an annual showcase of women writers beginning at a time when fewer women playwrights were seeing their plays make it all the way to the stage. It's a sort of a miracle that it's happened. Catherine Rust has shaped the program for all 29 of its years and is amazed at its impact on playwrights and audience alike. The playwright can't work in isolation. They have to be able to hear it with the actors' voices, but also sit in the audience and feel the response of the audience as the play develops. These are new plays, and the audience, this year socially distanced in the theater and able to watch a live stream from home, gives feedback that influences changes the playwright will make. You don't think the police could figure out who Not if it was hacked, believe me, I've seen this. Yarchin's play, a dark comedy about a couple whose high-tech life is driving a wedge between them, is called Atlas the Lonely Gibbon, set in the near future. Yarchin is hoping this opportunity in New Jersey will lead to a future for her play. In Hackettstown, John Bathke, News 12, New Jersey.